Hey, you lovely lot. I just wanted to give you an update on Kelly Wilkinson's case. Now, you might recall that I talked about Kelly Wilkinson, who was murdered on April the 20th, 2021 in Queensland on my Crime Anonymous YouTube channel. And I highly recommend that you watch that video. Today, Wednesday the 13th of March, her ex-husband, Brian Earl Johnston was sentenced to life for repeatedly stabbing Kelly and for setting her on fire in her own backyard. This case is just so utterly horrific. This was a murder in slow motion. There was a history of abuse. She had already separated from him once. He was a former Marine, is a former Marine. He terrorised Kelly and he coercively controlled her, he stalked her, she was in fear for her life. She was terrified that he would kill her and or her three children and she went to Queensland Police many times. She did manage to get a domestic violence protection order and I say that loosely, a domestic violence order because she did try and do everything right to protect herself and in the last uh, a few weeks she went multiple times to different police stations and Queensland police accused her of cop shopping which is just so egregious she was trying to find someone who cared and I talk about that in my video and what we now know is that Brian Earl Johnston asked a mate to take him to her house he allegedly told this mate what he was going to do they stopped and bought petrol along the way in a jerry can and then he went to her home address where the children were too and he stabbed her multiple times, eight times. He then tied her to a clothesline and he set her on fire. And I said in my video I wasn't sure what the children heard. They were found on the driveway crying. We know oftentimes they hear and see things and they're not asked about that. Well, I can now share that at 6.30am neighbours heard a woman screaming, please stop and then they heard an explosion. So it is most likely that they did hear, and that is just the immeasurable trauma and pain and also Kelly's suffering. This is one of the most horrific ways and painful ways to die. And what the autopsy has revealed is that she did not die from the stab wounds. And I feel absolutely nauseous thinking about this murder in slow motion and that final act, him knowing exactly what he was doing and it, she was pleading for her life and he sets her on fire. Sometimes it's very hard to talk about these cases, but we must, we must shine a light on male violence. And I also want to share with you that his lawyer tried to claim poor me syndrome, PMS, in his defense that he had experienced things and witnessed things as a child and also uh, through his work as a Marine and I just want to say very plainly there is no excuse there is nothing that can be said to excuse or minimize what he did this was premeditated this was a murder in slow motion he did not spare Kelly any mercy and I do not buy into one second of his poor me syndrome. He should be taking responsibility and accountability for his actions. Utterly reprehensible and disgusting what he did. And I'm sorry, but I just feel so angry about it. Case after case. And at court, they play the victim as if to try and darvo and to divert attention and to get empathy. And I'm just not having it. And neither should you. We should all be outspoken. It's just absolutely heinous what he did. And I don't feel that the sentence is long enough. Yes, they said he was sentenced to life, but he will serve at least 20 years. So he may well come out. What about his three children? What about Kelly's three children? What about the generation, the intergenerational trauma he has caused? It's just utterly repugnant and reprehensible what this coward did and I don't feel that him serving 20 years is long enough. Life should be life in cases like this. What do you think? Let me know and also if you wanted to contribute to Kelly's family, her sister is now 
bringing up Kelly's three children as her own. And she now has, I think it's eight children that she's bringing up, including her own. So she has to upgrade everything, uh, things like cars and paying for school fees. So if you did want to contribute, she has a GoFundMe and you'll find that in the notes. You'll also find it on my first YouTube video about Kelly. And we all have to be, you know, advocate for victims who are no longer here and also help where we can. So I'm going to end just by saying that I'm thinking about Kelly I'm thinking about her children, her three children. I'm also thinking about and praying for the children and for Kelly's family and her friends. Hashtag her name was Kelly Wilkinson.